Welcome to this video on getting started with the Geodata Investigator. Today we're going to show the Parallel Coordinates window. The Parallel Coordinates window is designed to help identify trends in the data across many different dimensions, which you can combine together in the GDI. It works by drawing a line for each sample in your investigation across the dimensions. So you could think of this as one depth point in your well or a particular cell from your geo model. There's a couple of uh, nice features that can help to distinguish different um, properties or different clusters in the dimensions. So firstly, we can color uh, the dimensions by one of the properties. We can also shuffle them to make a logical order. We can rotate them um, to help uh, adjust the separation of points. And we can also reverse them if we have any overlaps and we can filter data out to reduce the points. So here's an example just using some geological data. We have prostate permeability and gamma, and you can start to see the data separating out into clusters, which we can investigate further. And here we have an example from the geophysical world where we can see VP, VS, and Rho, and how that relates to things like porosity and V shale. So whether you're working with ge geological or geophysical data, we can make use of this tool for good analysis. So let's take a look at how that works in Petrel. So first I'm going to open up a new parallel coordinates plot for the small investigation I've created. And you can see that I just have porosity, permeability and uh, gamma ray in this investigation. And each of my samples is then drawn as a straight line. So each line here represents basically the, all the points from my investigation. So firstly, I can color here by one of the properties, like for example, gamma ray, and always add a, a legend to help guide me. I can also color by something discrete, like my fluvial facies that I have in my investigation. And of course, I can then also make use of the filter to um, break this down into smaller uh, subset. I can also, as I want to uh, swap the axis here, if I want to adjust the order of the um, dimensions here, and if I was to have like a crossover in the data like I do in the gamma ray, I can also, for example, reverse the axis, which then uh, switches it to maybe a more a linear trend where gamma ray is now uh, decreasing as you go up. And this can help uh, flatten out the plot and um, help you know, establish the trends. Next, I want to show you in a bit more detail just a small geophysics example. So again, I'm going to just open up a new parallel coordinates window. And here I have a set of different dimensions, including VP, VS, density, and some various porosities. So the first thing I want to do is to just remove some of the duplication in this investigation. So I have a total porosity, but I want to work with effective porosity, and maybe I'm not so uh, interested in acoustic impedance at this stage. So here I have a simple example where I have VP, VS, Rho, effective porosity, and then V shale. And I want to try and maybe use the parallel coordinates plot to kind of uh, predict the shale. So firstly, what I could do is color by my V shale to show where I have high and low values of V shale. And I want to be able to um, identify where I can use a certain dimension to predict shale. So here I can create a simple Petrel 1D filter, and then maybe define a range on my VS axis here. So here you can see that it selects these points remain active while the others are filtered out. And then when I do that, I can make use of this toggled filtered points, which then lets me uh, play around with the filters a bit further. So if I adjust the V shale either by sliding the gate up or adjusting the limits, I can start to filter out the, the points here. And then what we can see is by constraining my VS, I can make a nice um, discrimination of V shale across the different dimensions here. Once I've done that, if I then want to reintroduce any of the other uh, axes, I can then make use of that, and if I always want to 
reshuffle this to another point on the uh, scale, I can do so. As always, thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, please let us know.